it is I. What is up, you guys? Before we get started today, I have to give another quick shout out to State Farm. Of course, we know safe driving is important, but what steps exactly are you taking to stay safe? Well, State Farm is taking steps to reinforce safe driving habits, such as driving two and two. Two eyes on the road, two hands on the wheel. Like for me, in order to stay safe, if I need to put in any coordinates in the GPS, I do that before leaving the parking space, and I always buckle up! Oh my goodness, it would be so weird to be driving without a, a seatbelt. That would be so scary. <laughs> Bottom line, whenever you're driving, please try to eliminate as many distractions as you can and focus on the road. And if you guys have any other safe driving tips, please feel free to share them on Twitter using the hashtag Drive2N2. And now your feature presentation. One big question that I always tend to get asked, especially by people trying to break into the world of social media, whether it be through Vine or YouTube or whatever, is how did I do it? How did I get here? How did I accumulate so many awesome followers and appreciators of my content? What is my big secret? And here I am to reveal my big secret. The secret to social media success. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. The truth is, when I got started in Vine, I had no intention of getting to this place. I am a guy who experiences high levels of social anxiety, and although I love performing, it was never my absolute goal to be as well known as I currently am at this point, but I was always just a big old ham in front of the camera. As I stated before in one of my Q&As, I was always that kid who, with my brother, would take the family camcorder and make little skits in the room, and we would just make these videos to make ourselves laugh. And as it progressed, that went to theater. And then after that, I discovered Vine, and it was just another outlet to make funny little videos. And I had no idea people would appeal to those videos the way that they did. It was just so amazing. So one thing that I can say is, the thing that binds all of my videos together is that they're all videos that in one way or another made me laugh. Even if they were like super silly, I posted them because that showcased my humor. And I think in any form of social media, regardless of if you're in comedy, information, what have you, if the video showcases yourself, that's what viewers respond so well to. That is what keeps people coming back for more because they want to see you. If you keep posting videos just based off of trends or things that seem to be popular at the time that don't really reflect your own personality, it seems a little hollow. People really want to follow you for you. And I think that's the beautiful thing about social media. People want to get to know the person on the other side of the screen. And if you are at all interested in breaking into social media, that's the one thing that I could really truly recommend to you. Showcase your personality. And if you remain accessible and you make people feel welcome in your social spaces, that's what will keep people coming back for more. They're going to want to come back to see you. And there's a part two to this video. So many people ask me, like, now that I have this platform, what is my next step? Where do I want to go from here? Where do I want to take this? And to that I answer, yeah. I have goals and I have aspirations, but as for my next step, I have no idea. But that is totally okay. I go back to that metaphor of if your life is a story, you want the main character to go through struggle in order to attain what they want to attain. The actual story and adventure is in the journey itself, not the final destination. And if any of you out there are also in that same boat of I don't know what to do next, I don't know where I'm going, do not worry because it's perfectly fine. And trust me, so many people are there with you at the same point, not knowing what they're going to do. I would say there's not many people who know exactly what they want to do with their life. Those people are pretty rare. So don't worry. If you don't have everything all figured out, it's perfectly fine and normal, and it just adds to the adventure of your life. So join me as we all try to figure out what we're going to do next. Big group hug in unity. Well, that's about it, you guys. Thank you for allowing me to explain exactly how I had no idea how I got here and how I have no idea where I'm going. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and comment something nice. And if you haven't already, please subscribe because that would make you even awesomer. And yes, I made up that word, so it's all good. Hope you guys have a fantastic week, and I love you all. Take it easy, Vanders. Peace out.